it's the holiday season and we have to have some caution. Historically, the most amount of weight are gained during two times. Number one is summer. In the summer, most people gained 10 to 15 pounds. Now, December is the second highest weight gain month of the entire year. It's not as bad as summer, but it's still on average seven to 10 pounds of weight gain. Now, unless you wanna spend the next year focusing on just losing the 10 pounds that you gained in December, you need to watch this video because I'm gonna give you five ways that you're gonna be able to fix this problem and never have this problem moving forward. So the five things, your sleep routine is gonna be off, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna to wanna to stay tired, peer pressure is gonna be there to eat and drink, there's gonna be lack of healthy options, and then we all have this New Year's resolution mentality. So number one, your sleep routine is gonna be off. And you're gonna to have to make up for the sleep that you're lacking during the weekday on your days off. So if you get Saturday, Sunday off, as typically most people do, then during the week, if you have activities and you have outings and you got kids things, you're gonna be missing some of that sleep. So if normally you get six to seven hours, but on average you're only getting five to six, you're missing five hours of sleep. That's not a problem. Because if you go to bed on Friday at the regular time that you normally do, then on Saturday, you're gonna be able to get that extra hours of sleep because you're not waking up at five or six in the morning anymore. Now, the last thing you wanna do is wake up and stay tired, okay? We're gonna think that, hey, we are tired. I'm lacking you know, a couple extra hours of sleep. We stayed out a little bit later than normal or we were at an event till whatever. It doesn't matter. You wanna try and keep as many good habits as possible. So if you normally worked out Monday through Friday, it doesn't matter if you work out in the evening, mid-morning, or the early morning, you wanna make sure that if you do have a busy day the next day, that you front load your workout. Yes, you might lose a little extra hours of sleep because it's not your normal routine and it's gonna to be tough on you, but I'm gonna tell you this. Keep your circadian rhythm, keep your energy levels high. They should be peaking in that middle of the day. And if you go and get that workout, and I guarantee you, you're gonna walk in tired, but you're gonna leave feeling energized. So no matter what you do, try and keep those good habits, mainly the workout habit, no matter what, during the holiday season. When it comes to peer pressure, we all know what it's like. We go to a family gathering on a weekend and everybody wants to have fun and everybody to loosen up because why? It's tough to sit around people that you don't often see and have vanilla conversations. How's your day? How's the kids been? What have you been up to, right? We're sitting there like, I need a drink. I need a drink to loosen up. That's okay. I'm not saying don't drink, but I'm telling you to sip drinks, don't chug drinks, right? Like avoid the shots if that's how crazy your family gets, but don't overdo it because we know what happens. There's a ton of empty calories in alcohol and alcohol, if you're drinking a lot of it, is gonna be your number one fat stimulator. It's gonna make you accumulate the most amount of fat out of any calories that you consume. When it comes to eating, yes, we all know what it's like. You go to your relative's house, you have to eat. It's part of tradition. It's almost a slap in the face if you don't eat. But you eat, you get a smaller plate, you don't binge. Now, when we go to these events, what happens? We look at the plate and everything is brown, okay? Turkey is brown, potatoes are white and brown, egg rolls are brown, fish is brown. Like this is all, yeah, it's protein, but where is the vegetables? Where's the things that are gonna boost our metabolism? Where's the thing that's gonna help us digest all of this brown food? You gotta be that person, right? Like you don't bring to, need to bring another carbohydrate or dessert dish. What you should do is focus on bringing the greens. Bring a salad, make the salad awesome. And if you're lazy, you don't have the time, then go and buy these pre-made salads, put it in a bowl, you'll look like a boss. But either way, be that person that brings the healthy option. And the last but not least is we need to lose the New Year's resolution mindset. So what does that mean? January 1st, you're gonna go all in. So that's gonna give you a mental pass to eat and do whatever the heck you want during the holiday season. I'm gonna tell you, this is the wrong mindset. If you just finished the belly burn that we did in September, you understand that the summer was the hardest obstacle to overcome. Why? Because we ate, we drank, and we did whatever we wanted. And so for us to start a belly burn in September was probably one of the most difficult because we weren't in the right mindset. If you continue to give yourself all these little passes where you don't need to work out, where you don't need to get the water, where you can stop doing the steps, and you don't need to monitor your nutrition, guess what happens? That's gonna be such a hard habit for you to develop into the new year. And so the mindset needs to say, 
I'm not repeating what I did last year or the year before. I am not going to gain 10 pounds only to have to start the new year 10 pounds heavier to lose that 10 pounds and hope that I lose another 10 pounds. This year is going to be different. You've watched this video. You understand that your sleep routine is going to be off, that you need to wake up and you need to keep up with the good habits of working out, that when you get peer pressure to eat and drink, you're going to never stuff and never starve. And you're going to bring that person that has the good healthy options when you do have these potlucks or dinners and you're not going to have the new year's resolution mindset. Now, if you're ready to commit and say, hell no, RJ, I'm on it. I'm going to start my new year off right. I want you to put in the comment section, hell no, hell no, you aren't getting 10 pounds this winter.